Hello everybody and welcome to the practice for the National Guard 200. We've got cars already rolling off pit row, so we'll go to the first driver that I just saw pull off and that's John Dillon in the 14. These 42 drivers are in the field to be in the first race of the Oreo Truck Series Season 3, the National Guard 200. You're going to see uh, the eight drivers who transferred their way in uh, in the two qualifying races, plus the other drivers who had already qualified in due to uh, last season. Now, I think that a big thing that we're going to be watching here, especially in this 15-minute practice session, is if we end up having a two-car tandem or something, how these drivers are going to be able to cope with the uh, left rear quarter panel. We saw a lot of this in the truck series uh, practice races. We also saw uh, in the qualifying races for the Snickers Cup series that really you can't seem to be able to get off of that driver if you hit them in the left rear quarter panel and it spins the car out in front of the rest of the field. You see, uh, I believe that was uh, Harold Columbia and no, it wasn't Harold Columbia. It was uh, Devin Wilson in the 27 along with Sean Galgan in the 77 coming out of the racetrack. And right there, I believe that's Dylan Schwallenberg. Yes, it is indeed. Dylan Schwallenberg qualified his way in to the National Guard 200 in one of the qualifying races. But, uh, you know, if, if uh, Schwallenberg gets up to the back here of John Dillon, we may be able to watch a two-truck tandem there. But it, it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen here. So let's see just exactly what the first lap's going to be laid down by the 14. And it's a 188.431. Now, these cars are built a little bit differently than uh, the Snickers Cup cars, so I'm not expecting them to quite hit 200 miles an hour. Here's Anthony McCurry and Jake Rogers, two drivers back in the same rides they drove last season. They bypass other drivers, such as Trent Dunham and uh, I believe that was Sean Henley in the four. But uh, these two back in the rides they were in last season, so maybe a... Uh, that will help play out here. Here we go. Here's a two-truck tandem. Let's watch this. McCurry and Rogers. As they'll try working together here. You see Rogers go down there to that left rear quarter panel, though. That That's what worries me. You see him go up there towards the right side, though. But there he is again. Oh, my. Yeah. You know, you know it's awfully close there. As they come up on the slower car of Jake Berg. But, you know, it, it really is kind of trivial. I think for these drivers, how they're going to get around that. Well, nonetheless, Jake Berg now is formed into that group. Here comes John Dillon. So now it's going to become like a four-truck pack, which is uh, actually going to help produce more speed. You see Dillon drafting with Jake Rogers. Always getting in on that left rear quarter panel again. You know, I understand that they have to get the, the air into the grill to help cool the car down so it won't overheat, but honestly, it, it really, for me, is a little nerve-wracking to see them. Look at Dylan again, down in that left rear quarter panel, this time of Jake Berg. Ooh, Berg almost made contact there. Let's look further up here. Jack Richards, he's back in the sixth car. There's Robert Ban, new sponsorship this season for our Season 1 champion. In the 57, Connor Breton in the 18 car, coming up alongside of Daniel Schwab in the 82. We're going to go through here, just introduce some of these drivers. Ray Wilson in the 24, alongside of Christian James moving over into the 16. Lewis Gordon ended up getting into this race because of one of the Oreo Truck Series qualifying races, a rookie this season. Bob Vergas back in his 75 years. A good pack. T.O. Bain there as well in the 31. Jake Cole in the 25. And Joseph Bryant in the 89. They're coming up on the 66 of Brandon Gonzalez. The 02 of Jacob Lawler. And the 35 of Nick Eggleston. Let's watch this pack of cars. But you see, you see them wiggle around there. They're, they're, they're getting each other loose. And... I don't really know if there's a way that we can get around this. Obviously, there's, they're going to be looking into this in NSERA and seeing if they can stop this, uh, this constant struggle to keep your car straight. I mean, how else are you able to draft, though? You know, maybe if they didn't bump in the turns, it may make a difference. I don't know. But uh, this is a huge pack of trucks right here. Oh, and there they go! There they go! Brandon Gonzalez is around! 
Jacob Lawler is around. Bob Fergus is spinning into the infield. The car still got momentum. I'd be afraid of him to come back up the racetrack. Ooh, he gets the wall, but he's okay. And everybody else is going to get by, but... Oh, here we go. Oh, there goes Jake Berg. There goes Jake Rogers and Anthony McCurry. Berg's going to come down to the bottom of the racetrack. Whew, just barely missed those other drivers. Jacob Rodriguez, Adam Rose, and Tim Pagioli. That was a little close for comfort. There's Trent Dunham and Sean Henley working together. Dougie Shears moving over from the 99 to the 3 this season. Jake Baskinger, he got in with one of the qualifying races. Lisa Shears there with Matt Nathan, Vincent Marsh on pit road still. James McLeod there in the 68. Logan Wilson in the 5. And Jordan Hester moving into the 2. Oh, there's one of our winners of one of our qualifying races. Jake Johnson finally going to be coming out onto pit road, or off of pit road. Some more drivers. Matthew Rodriguez in the 84, William Duncan in the 36, and Michael Harvey in the 43. Mike Dawson, one of our other winners. He actually just bypassed the other winner of the qualifying race in the 56, making his first day, uh, Daytona start. Brandon Bain, also known as Ziggy Bain, in the 13. There's Trey Campbell in the 87. He qualified his way into the National Guard 200 with his, the qualifying race. And uh, there's Adam Chambers in the 1. Our defending Snickers Cup Series champion. So if we can look further back here, this is a big pack of cars. Christian Jane's in the mix there, Daniel Schwab, John Dillon, Connor Breton, Robert Ban, Ray Wilson. Comes the T.O. Bain off pit road, along with, I believe that was uh, Devin Wilson in the 24, 27. Oh, John Dillon gets into Christian James, brings it back up, and somehow they all saved it. Let's look at the top speeds as of right now. John Dillon has the fastest speed. Dillon Schwalberg is second. They've hit 204. Wow. I didn't think these trucks were going to hit 200 miles an hour. Robert Ban, Joseph Bryant, Jake Cole, Brandon Gonzalez, Jacob Lawler, now Adam Chambers, uh, Logan Wilson, and T.O. Bain are the top 10. Wow, these trucks are running really fast around this racetrack. I'm rather surprised. Now see right here, this... This is kind of textbook drafting that I'm talking about. You see the 16, he's staying right behind the 82. Right there, he stepped out a little bit, but not really that much. I'm seeing other drivers, though, they're, they've got almost half the front of their car on the left side of the other race car, and th that's what's making me worried. Oh, man! Connor Breton almost got Robert Band turned around. You see right there, there's D uh, John Dillon, there's Robert Ban, and there's Dillon Schwallenberg. Those four are in the top ten for fastest speeds. And that guy is tops them all. Well, not anymore. He now has, uh, oh, Dillon Schwallenberg right behind him has topped the leaderboard. Let's take a look and find our defending champ coming into this race. Jake Rogers in the 91, running 22nd fastest on the racetrack. So he's trying to catch up to this group here, uh, Adam Rose, Timmy Pacioli, Jacob Rodriguez. If you're running by yourself, you're not going to run real fast if they bypass Lisa Shears coming back onto the racetrack. And, uh... Another ride that actually was really, really good last season was the, uh... 21 of Matt Nathan. He was a rookie last season. This season, coming in as a, not a veteran, but it's a second year driver. He's uh, racing it out here with Vincent Marsh and Jake Baskinger. 36th fastest out of 42, though. That's not exactly a good qualifying or good practice run so far for him. And neither for this guy, Timmy Pacioli, who was a championship contender last season. 34th on the speed charts right now as he's getting... Pushed by Adam Rose and Jacob Rodriguez. We'll see if maybe that'll help his speed or something, but... 
Let's go back to uh, John Dillon. Well, this pack that we had is suddenly broken up a bit. Uh, maybe not. And we have uh, Dylan Schwalmberg stuck in the middle there. Jake Berg's in this mix. Jake Johnson, right there. One of our qualifying race winners. Anthony McCurry, Lewis Gordon. Got a lot of drivers who actually qualified their way into this race here. Oh! Phew. Robert Band nearly turned Connor Breton. Oh boy, they're sliding up the racetrack there. Not certain what the weather conditions really are like out there. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty warm down here in Daytona and Florida, but it may be making this track a little slick for these drivers. I don't know. Connor Breton is now third fastest on the racetrack. Robert Band behind him, fourth fastest, is oh John Dillon almost gets turned, and what a save by John Dillon. Oh my word. I can't believe he held on to that car. Lewis Gordon had him turned sideways. Oh, and there they go. Jake Johnson's turned around. Come on, get that thing righted. There you go. It's got some damage to that race car, but I don't think that's really going to be anything real bad. You know, the one thing these guys don't want to do is they don't want to have to go to a backup car. That really would hurt their chances. They'd be at the back of the pack for the start of the National Guard 200. Brandon Gonzalez heading for pit road. Let's watch this pack of cars. This is a good pack. Sean Henley, Trent Dunham. We've seen them working together all day long. Dougie Shears, T.O. Bain, and Lisa Shears in this pack as well. Sean Henley, a rookie this season along with Trent Dunham. Henley is 29th fastest, 22nd fastest for Trent Dunham. Now there's T.O. Bain. He was a goer go homer last season, but... He's in the number 31 this season. He's 18th fastest on the racetrack. And there's Dougie Shears in the 3, 27th fastest right now in that 3 car. The 3 was driven last season by Brandon Bain. And there's Bain on pit road. Let's look through the field here, try and find some other drivers to talk about. Yeah, we haven't talked about Devin Wilson at all in that 27 car. Devin ended up uh, being a go go homer in the number 18 last season, and now he's in the 27, which uh, coincidentally was driven by a championship contender last season, Harold Columbia. So maybe they're expecting a little bit of luck from that 27 car. That car went to victory lane also last season when Harold Columbia drove it. He's 25th fastest on the racetrack. There's Jake Johnson. He's made repairs to the car after it spun out. You saw there in turn three, I think it was. So he's continuing on. Here's a few cars we haven't talked about at all. Bob Fergus back in the number 75. Good run so far. 17th fastest on the racetrack as he now gets bypassed by 16th fastest race car, Logan, Ro uh, Logan Wilson, who uh, won the Bud Shootout this season for the Snickers Cup Series. There's James McLeod. Moving into the 68 car this season. He's 23rd fastest right now. And the 2 car of Jordan Hester, 37th fastest right now. But moving over there to that car for Kevin Harvick Incorporated. Well, Dylan Schwallenberg still is the fastest on the racetrack. He's got a 204.932 oh, lap. That's almost 205 miles per hour. He's getting drafted here by Jacob Lawler. We've only got a minute left in practice. Schwallenberg is the lead. Let's take a quick look at the, a glance at what this looks like. Looks like the uh, top drivers right now, first through tenth, are Dylan Schwallenberg, John Dylan, Connor Breton, Robert Band, Jack Richards is up there now with Adam Chambers, Ray Wilson, Lewis Gordon, the rookie, doing a great job right there, along with, uh, I believe that's uh, Daniel Schwab and Joseph Bryant. Ooh, car on the apron there. That's Dougie Shears. And that car's got a lot of damage. Ooh, I don't know what happened to him. But he's badly damaged is Dougie Shears. There's Nick Eggleston along with some rookies here. Oh, Brandon Gonzalez into the fence! That looks like a tire. That looks like a tire problem. Tire going down on the 66. Who was 12th fastest. John Dillon is damaged. And the practice session is over. 
Boy, I don't know what happened there to John Dillon. Somebody else coming down pit road, looks like. That's all. Oh, Sean Henley, heavy damage. Let's take a look at a replay quickly, see what happened to these guys, and then we'll show you what the practice session looked like. Well, here we go. This is what happened. Left rear quarter panel, once again. It was Ray Wilson getting into Robert Band, gets down into Jack Richards. All of them were doing really well as far as speeds were concerned, and up into John Dillon. Oh, my goodness. Richards was fifth fastest. Dillon was second fastest. I don't know if they're going to get those cars repaired or not, but, man, they're not going to want to have to go to backup cars for the National Guard 200. No doubt about that. I don't know what's going to happen with them, but uh, then we're going to see coming into view here. Well, just a moment here. For some reason, it's it stopped on me. Just a moment. Trying to get to it. We'll have to watch it again. Here we go. Now, Jack Richards is going to continue on. And I think maybe he and Dylan make contact when Dylan wants to come down pit road. No, Adam Rose just got into the back of John Dylan. Lewis Gordon involved there, and look at that. Dougie Shears nowhere to go. Trent Dunham does a great job getting through. Lisa Shears and Sean Henley, though, are involved. And that's what this whole pileup was. Oh, Adam Rose just plowed into the back of the John Dillon machine. Whew, that was that was a hard, hard lick. No doubt about that. Alright, so here's what it looked like for the practice session. We went through the top five. Jake Cole was eleventh fastest. Branding is always twelfth. Jake Rogers, our defending champion, thirteenth fastest. He picked that up pretty quickly. Lawler and Christian James, the top 15. The rest of these guys, really, practice session doesn't mean much. It just shows who has a faster car. And I'll tell you what, Dylan Schwallenberg, a rookie, up there atop the leaderboard, along with Connor Breton and Lewis Gordon and Joseph Bryan in that top 10. Four rookies. So we may have some uh, surprises for us here. Sean Galligan only ran 199. I think he ran the whole practice session by himself with no drafting partner. So who knows? He may have something in store when we get to the... National Guard 200. Uh, and then a lot of rookies down here. Not really surprised about seeing William Duncan, Mike Dawson, and Jake Johnson down there. Because, uh, you know, not a lot of people draft with the rookies in practice session. But you bet they're going to be having drafting partners when we get to the National Guard 200. Which will be coming up very soon, by the way. Hope you'll tune in for the uh, Mobile One Cup Series and Snickers Cup Series practices coming here. As they prepare for the Samsung 300 and the Daytona 500. And then we'll be getting to the points races. Thanks for watching the NSRA Sports Channel. Offline racing at its best.